Hi guys, I'm back here today with another challenger game uh, against funny animator Jim TV. Uh, I'm gonna play E4. Good luck, have fun. Knight C6. Okay. I guess I'll go with that uh, Knight F3. Is the count of the two squares that his knight is uh, is influencing. Uh, if you want to play a game against me for the channel, just send me a message here on Leechess or comment on one of my YouTube videos. Either way is a good way to get in touch with me. Now we could go bishop c4. It's probably a good move, so I'm going to play it. So now we've got a little bit of pressure against uh, the f7 pawn. Uh, ideas like this could be um, an issue if my opponent uh, isn't careful. Gonna get castled. Just get the old uh, king to safety. Um, here I'm thinking knight c3 to defend is probably a good idea. I'm expecting him to castle. Okay, so maybe I should uh, respond with uh, a3. Just uh, in the event of b5, uh, I've got. Um, this square to duck back to. Okay, now I'm just going to defend this pawn. I'm going to come back there and I will recapture with my rook if he chooses to take. Yeah, uh, my opponent was uh, suggesting um, another possible move uh, on move two f5, the Colorado gambit that's called. Clearly, uh, an opening that he's uh, familiar with. Uh, I myself am not, so I'm quite happy that he didn't play it. Now I'm wondering about ideas like this to try and get my uh, my knight over to an attacking uh, position. Hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, I'll aim to get my knight over here. Yeah, it's not overly pleasant for me to deal with that, is it? If I play knight there in response, uh, just uh, take, takes, queen takes, queen rook takes, uh, 
doesn't look like I would have very much in that position. Okay, I'm going to take them. Okay, cool. And now I could maybe look for my knight coming into this square instead. Uh, that will also uh, work against this pawn's further advance, so that's good. Actually, the knight jumping uh, into this square uh, with the tempo against the bishop is um, uh, an interesting threat. Yeah, basically, um, the reason I took his pawn um, was that I didn't like the look of uh, the positions I was getting if um, if I let him take me. So I decided uh, probably better if I um, if I take him first. Yeah, I was just about to mention uh, it could be interesting if he plays a move like f5. But here's the thing, uh, that is a very weakening move around his king. I mean, it, it may well prove to be um, prove to be justified. He may get a very strong attack going against me, but it is still very weakening. So a possible move could potentially be knight g5 with a, this threat of a, uh, a killer fork. What does he do if I do that? Probably has to play either queen there or queen there. Or maybe rook there. There's some move that will actually um, go against my threat. I actually think I'm going to play this because I want to see what move he plays in response. And who knows, there's uh, also possibilities maybe uh, sending my queen in afterwards as well with a threat of checkmate. So, well, that wouldn't be checkmate, yeah, but okay. Um, yeah, so knight g5. And if he plays that, we've got knight into there, 
to uh, defend this knight. Well, actually, uh, we could just um, send that knight straight into there, couldn't we, if that move was played? So the plan is to just uh, try and play um, fairly directly and uh, create threats and try and well uh, try and gain some sort of an advantage from my opponent not being able to successfully defend against one of those possible threats. Okay. So if Queen there uh, H six will certainly be played. Do we gain anything from that move being played? I guess in that situation we send the knight back. So we do have a, um, an active queen to show from that manoeuvre. <laughs> Queen there, h6, knight f3, bishop takes, could potentially be a threat. Takes, takes, queen takes. They're not jumping back in. Well, I probably do want to send my um my queen in just to put the pressure on a little bit. I don't want to play too passively. I mean, at least this move does come with a threat, so. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, it looks as though the move is just going to um, create some weaknesses around uh, the enemy king, right? Okay. Okay, do I want to send my queen back? Perhaps I do. So... What we got from that queen move was that he undeveloped his knight. Uh, I've lost two games and drawn once against uh, this opponent, so... Let's try and not make it too easy for him to be able to win again. He preferred not to make a, um, a weakening pawn move at all. It's completely understandable. Uh, could you have made an argument for queen f3 instead? Not easily, I don't think, because uh, he could have just gone for that. So... Knight into there. I'd like to try and... Uh, create some sort of weakness against his king. Maybe I should um, oppose this rook. I also have to make sure I'm aware that uh, a queen coming to here, my rook is currently undefended, so... At the moment, it looks as though he's just um, preparing to to push this pawn. Takes, takes. It's not a threat at the moment. I think I've got that uh, that point too well defended. Maybe I could go rook there, just um, make it even more difficult. No, I, th I think I want to pull my rook back. I don't want my rook to get attacked at all. So. Yeah, I'd rather not have to worry about that anymore. So his ENF pawns are a little bit of a concern, but... I do have um, my knights here that are doing a good job of... Um, not making it too easy for them to advance. I mean this one, if this advances then we just um, improve the knight. Knight takes, knight takes, and we're actually attacking the um, bishop at the same time, so that I would be okay with. 
And then we could uh, maybe just uh, try this again, see if he wants to make a uh, awakening pawn move after all. I just wanted to keep um, my pieces uh, a little bit better protected. I don't want to blunder anything. Perhaps uh, h3 could be a, um, a move soon. All right, so here it looks as though uh, he's going for take a uh, push, takes, and then uh, he would be um, winning my my queen here. So that's not great for me. So the question is, how do I defend that? If I went there, he's just got push. Actually, we've just got takes, right? So if if bishop takes, pawn takes, then push, uh, we would just be able to push past. Hmm. Okay, so my bishop's not very active at the moment. Maybe this would be a um an idea. Yeah, okay. And uh, this last move also uh, defends my queen in extra time, because uh, now my a rook is uh, able to defend my queen, and also my a rook is now being defended by the queen as well. It was previously um, undefended on a1. I mean, it was secure. There weren't any pieces that could get to it very easily, but it was still an undefended piece. So. I hope he um he takes because uh, he's got an active bishop at the moment and my bishop is not. Have I got this scrolled down a bit there? Oh, that's it. Well, I'm glad there's not a massive time discrepancy. Uh, I'm used to being uh, a lot lower on time than my opponent is. But um, at least in this situation, uh, the discrepancy is uh, is actually less than a minute at the moment, which is, um, for me, is pretty good. Well, that's interesting, but um, uh, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. 
F if bishop takes, I presume knight takes will will come in. If bishop takes, uh, there could also be queen takes hitting that. Uh, I don't want to go with uh, this move because then he just takes, takes, and wins a pawn. So I don't want to do that. Do I want to take? Okay, bishop takes. Let's do it. Okay, so if we were to go with the knight there, we are hitting both of these points. And this pawn here was uh, undefended by my opponent's last move. So maybe we could go in for this as well, knight there, just try and uh, weaken his pawn structure a bit and send the queen in. Seems to be a more aggressive, uh, more aggressive approach than this. Um. Yes, yeah, so a knight there. Check. Knight takes. Queen takes. Um, the knight wouldn't be able to take there because we would take with checkmate. Do I want to quickly do that? Okay, we'll do it. So I'm down to very, very little time. Only uh, two and a half minutes to my opponent's five. Definitely uh, the blitz portion of the game. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, So, knight takes, pawn takes, he's got a simple um, way of attacking me, hasn't he? Which is unfortunate. Now we've got knight to there, we can hit a few different interesting points on the board. Points of interest. Hmm. Or do I want to try it down a bit? Hmm. I can't really try it down. 
not in any favourable way. So I'm glad that I had um, moved my rook, uh, all those moves earlier, because otherwise this would have been a problem. But it looks like I'm potentially in another losing position against this player. It's amazing, that seems to happen a lot against him. And again, I, I don't want to drop this pawn, so I can't ever push this pawn to try and kick the knight. <sighs> okay. I'm going to have to take like that if... Um, if he does do that, I think. If he plays knight takes, queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes. It's a, uh, a rook end game. It's maybe not that easy to attack me though. Um, right, I think I should maybe get a rook to an open file, or a half open one. Okay. One takes. Yes, thank you for that. really want to do this, but I'm not really left with too many other uh, other good options, am I? I'm forced to play a bit defensively. What do I want to do? That may be asking for a move like that to be played. Actually, it's just begging for that move, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe that and just accept being... Ah, oh, no. That's frustrating. We'll see if he wants to drop his rook with check. That would really help me out, not gonna lie. Yep. A completely normal move. If we go for that. Um well, we can do that. OK, 
okay things are getting uh, progressively worse if we go king there Um, what do I do here? I could drop the rook back. Except uh, a rook down end game. Far from ideal. But Who knows? Uh, perhaps it won't be the uh, the easiest end game in the world for him to actually convert. So just um, try and uh, create a nice wall here, which prevents him from actually uh, from attacking me very easily. Or maybe he'll go with that and then that. Uh, unfortunately for me, the position is just um, far simpler to play for for black. Than it is for white here. So we could go king there and go check, takes. That's just losing now. I don't have any constructive moves at all. It's just a really unfortunate position to ever find yourself in. I didn't have any, uh, any actual good moves, so unfortunately I've just got to accept that I'm, I'm lost here. I'll probably resign in the next couple of moves. Yeah, I'll just resign that. I, I can't do anything. Lost again. Good game, thank you. Yeah, he uh, he, he just beats me every time. It's amazing. I just keep getting uh, destroyed by him. Okay, uh, one suggestion by innate uh, aluminium was to cast your queen side. Okay, so they're suggesting queen h3, 
uh, keeping the queen on the h file and actually uh, uh, try and um, create more pressure down down the h file for an attack. So what was this opening called? This was ah, oh, it's just the uh, Joker piano, isn't it? Okay, so we're using the Leeches Opening Explorer to take a look. Move my budget back. Taking was best. That's interesting. This uh, this hasn't been played very much. Bishop A2 was played in four games. White won 75% of them, apparently. So castle is here, and this is where there are no longer any games. Okay, so keeping the queen on the h file was one of the top moves. I kept considering ideas like this, but uh, it didn't look as though I was actually forcing the bishop anywhere that would cause it any problems. I was keeping an eye out for things like that. Oh, I should probably check out what the uh, final count was. Uh, right. Uh, I got six inaccuracies, six mistakes, one blunder for a 57 average centicorn loss. And my opponent got four inaccuracies, four mistakes, zero blunders for a 32 average centicorn loss. Which is shocking. Because uh, it didn't seem as though that was the case at all. It seemed like a, an extremely even game for the vast majority of it. Right, so hold on. Um, book A1 was an inaccuracy. Best was B4. Just go on the attack a bit. Bishop E3. Bishop takes. Knight takes. How does that work? Um, okay, so we go there, check. I suppose we could go with a rook there, couldn't we? And then we're still threatening that. Okay. And here it actually does want this. But that's hitting that, and as uncomfortable uh, pressure here, I'm never going to be able to uh, evict this queen. So knight h4 was a mistake, it's showing as minus 2 after that. Uh, best was to break the position open with that move. And all of a sudden the knight is lacking squares, isn't it? Hmm. So, where were some points where it seemed as though the move made sense, but it was clearly just not very good. Queen h5 was an inaccuracy. Better was an idea like that. 
So I considered this, but it didn't look as though it was actually um doing much good. I I couldn't see a, a, an obvious plan. That's the problem. So queen back on the h file just to keep a bit of pressure there and try to cause a weakening pawn move. Let's turn that off. There we go. So after this, bishop there, I mean, the bishop is still right there, it's still causing problems. It doesn't look as though we've actually accomplished much from these operations. So a lot of these um, mistakes, these are just like uh, the most difficult to uh, uh, understand and work out in a game kind of mistakes. It's not the kind of immediately like tactical uh, blunder kind of mistake, it's more uh, the move the plan behind the move just wasn't just wasn't good. It just wasn't actually F5 was an inaccuracy. We could have gone for that. That was still losing technically. I don't understand. This was such a normal opening. Knight g5 is a very normal move, it came with some threats. Queen h5 I liked as well because th these are forcing moves. Uh, he has to play in a certain way if he wants to not lose. So, just actually play these moves and force my opponent to actually have to play these moves. It didn't seem like a bad idea at the time. Why is knight h4 so bad? Okay, so it's suggesting that, but what happens if I take? Alright, what, what's the big bad thing that happens? Okay, the knight is out of squares, that's fine. But what if we was to play a move like that? He doesn't have something like that because then he doesn't actually, he doesn't gain anything from that. So. Uh, after that, if we tried that, 
when uh, then night into there is working out very nicely for him. Right, so the idea would be just get out of the way and then line up a rook against my queen. What? Uh, no. Okay. It's clearly a bad position. And there we should have played a uh, queen there. Okay, so this move is saying basically that this pawn is going to be coming under some fire from that king very soon, so I should probably do something about that. And if I don't, then what? What now? Okay, we wouldn't be able to ever move the rook off this file because um, that would just be checkmate. This pawn is uh, cutting off the king's only escape squares. Okay, so what was what I actually played? Uh, this is a, a e c3, a move I didn't want to play the whole game, but. Here I sort of felt like I had to, and um, here obviously if he had taken like that I'd have been very happy because uh, I'd have just won the game easily. Right, so he took, we played it down, and uh, it's already dead last for me at this point. Uh, have we found what my blunder was yet? Oh, we haven't made it all the way through the game. F3, this is just another mistake. King G2, another mistake. Rook E1. Uh, hold on. G4 check was the blunder. Yeah, okay. So just, uh, just king there. I mean, this is still dead lost, obviously, but uh, apparently it's better than what I did. But I suspect it's probably not as bad as it's saying there that that was specifically a blunder. I mean, I was already losing at that point. I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the evaluation makes much of a difference between a, a minus four in a losing king and pawn end game and a minus and a minus fifty or whatever it was. Yeah, at the end result is still exactly the same. So at that point, it doesn't actually matter whatever the evaluation says. So the uh, six mistakes. Got a knight move on the rim, c3, f3, 
and then a bunch of uh, bad moves in the uh, in the end game. Very unfortunate. Okay. Uh, well, uh, maybe I'll do better next time. Who knows? All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to play a game, gets me for the channel in the future. Just send me a message here on Nature, so I'll comment on my videos. Either way, it's a good way to get in touch. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. All right. Bye, guys.